Hello everyone and welcome back to the latest Minty Reacts for a trailer, and as I will not be rambling like I did in the Ant-Man one last time, this one is for the very special Marvel special presentation of the Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special. Yay! So, second Marvel special presentation that we've had this year, I absolutely love the first one, which was Werewolf by Night, and it was a phenomenal phenomenal little Halloween special in a way. So I'm looking forward to this one. Also because I'm a massive fan of the Guardians of the Galaxy, both comic book version and movie version, and also video game version too, because the Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy game uh, was amazing. That game was really, really great and should have won way more awards than it did. But either way, beyond all the video game rants and everything here, I like the Guardians. I like the Guardians, and I love what James Gunn did with the Guardians, just like what he did with the Suicide Squad when he went over to DC as well. Which I will talk more about that after the reaction here, as, as I tease in the Ant-Man one. I will talk more about that afterwards, because, uh, whew, that's a, it's a pretty big deal. But either way, Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special this is a fun one. Because, like, when you think of the, when you think of the MCU and them doing a holiday special, honestly, the Guardians kind of feels like the perfect ones to do a holiday special. Because it's space and it's so wild, and you can do something really fun with it where, all these aliens who probably don't know what Christmas is or what the holidays are have to figure out what's the holidays? What's Christmas? So it's kind of like it's it's literally like the SpongeBob special I'm imagining, where where Sandy teaches SpongeBob the meaning of Christmas and the SpongeBob's like, Cool, I don't know what any of these words mean, but I'm gonna tell the rest of the town and we're gonna celebrate the holidays. And it's like kind of weirdly bastardized but in such a joyous and fun way and that's the, that's the main spirit of the holidays just having a joyous fun time with those that you love i have no idea what they're doing with the holiday special here but i just imagine that's what they're going to be doing with the, with the the guardians because that just makes the most sense so let's just see what they do so without any further ado let's get right into this so in three two one let's go i love the special presentation like introduction sound I just saw on the calendar right. that right now on Earth it's almost Christmas time. We don't have time but. for trivialities like Christmas. Fair, Peter fair. Peter's so sad about Gamora being gone. Okay, okay, so this is still in that Maybe area, which makes Earth sense. For a really wonderful Christmas gift. <laughs> it would make him happy. Oh God, they go to Earth. Oh God, it's the Drax and Mantis team up. This <laughs> is... Aww. One special. This it looks wholesome. We're looking for the legendary Kevin Bacon. We're looking oh God. For the legendary Kevin Bacon. I just said that track. Your voice is small enough, so I think maybe he didn't hear you. <laughs> God. Oh God, it's Kevin Bacon. Oh my god, it's actually Kevin Bacon. You're coming with us. That's a Christmas present. <laughs> They're gonna kidnap Kevin Bacon. Oh my god. Cosmo! Why does Groot- Okay, Groot's looking like Vin Diesel now. He's like bulking up into Vin Diesel. What the hell? That looks wholesome. Okay, that looks wholesome and full of holiday cheer. That looks fun. That looks really, really fun. Full of holiday cheer, which is what a holiday movie should be. Especially the hol uh, holiday special should be. They're going to kidnap Kevin Bacon for the holidays. That's... Why not? Why not? That also means Kevin Bacon is officially canon in the MCU. I wonder if they're going to bring up the Fox first for the fact that he played the uh, the head of the Hellfire Club in the Fox movies. Probably not, but that'd be a fun little Easter egg if they throw that in, if they throw that in there. But that does look full of holiday cheer and full of some holiday joy, and I am uh, looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Also, Groot looks like he bulked up finally and looks like Vin Diesel now, which I think is hilarious because obviously Vin Diesel voices him. And a Max, a uh, Max, a Drax and Mantis uh, team up. That's that's a fun time. This is a fun time. Just, you know, send the two most oblivious characters to Earth and have them figure out Christmas. That sounds like a fun, fun time. So I wonder what the other Guardians are going to be doing in that. And I wonder I wonder how much this is going to play into Guardians 3, if at all. Which I feel like it's going to have to play into it a little bit. It's just the question of how much. But now the big elephant in the room, though. At the time of this recording, which is the same day this trailer actually came out... A few hours after this trailer came out, the massive news story broke that James Gunn and Peter Safran are going to be the new heads of DC Studios at Warner Brothers, 
which basically means that those two are going to be the Kevin Feige of DC, which as a DC fan, but mostly as just a movie entertainment and comic book fan, that's really, really cool. Because now they actually have someone in charge of DC that actually likes the material that they're actually putting out and understands it. So, cool. That's awesome. But that's just I, that's just hilarious that that news came out the same day that this trailer also dropped. So, that's going to be a really funny situation when it comes to actually promoting the, uh, the holiday special. And then promoting uh, Guardians 3 next year. Where it's like, the head of DC now has to promote something from Marvel. That's awkward, especially since he has a complete non, like, complete exclusivity with DC since he, well, with Warner Brothers since he, you know, is the CEO of DC Studios right now. But that's just a funny thing, and that, that has to be brought up. That literally has to be brought up. And with that having to be brought up, and I will bring this up in the Guardians 3 trailer reaction whenever they release a trailer for Guardians 3, is that the holiday special and Guardians 3 are going to basically be James Gunn's swan song and full finale for marvel and like i'm already anticipating them being incredibly great mostly guardians so i'm anticipating it being in like a very very great end off to the guardians trilogy and it's going to be better than guardians one and two somehow some way just based on what i'm anticipating it being like i don't want to i don't want to have my anticipations or expectations too high just in case, but I am, I, I do have the feeling that it's going to be like a very big deal, especially for it to be James Gunn's literal finale with Marvel. So it's going to be very intriguing to see how that actually plays out. And we'll obviously talk about that more once it gets closer to the movie coming out. But yeah, the holiday special though, that looks really fun. Looks really fun and full of holiday cheer and joy. And I can't wait for it to come out. It comes out, what, November 25th? So about a month before, before the full holiday season starts. And yeah, I'm, I'm very intrigued to see, to watch that around the TV with my family to see what we all think about it, about it. There's a nice little hour long special of them kidnapping Kevin Bacon for the holidays. <laughs> That's so funny to say. So funny to say. But anyway, let me know down in the comments what you think about the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. And also, I guess in full, the James Gunn situation as well. Um, and try to keep it peaceful and civil in the comments, please. Try to keep it very peaceful, very polite in the comments, if you could, please. Just, you know, what do you think? What do you think is going to be happening with it? And what do you anticipate happening for Guardians 3 as well, just to have that discussion start? And yeah, if you like these reactions as well, leave a like. It really helps the channel. It really helps the algorithm and get these videos posted and get these videos out to more people. And if you like the channel as well, leave a little subscription. It is uh, free <laughs> and it really helps the channel out too. And I'm on the path to try and get the community tab. It's coming at some point because YouTube is changing their features. So it allows a lot more people to get the community to the community tab. I'm on the way to get it. I don't know what else I need to do to get the community tab other than just be patient and wait for it. But I thought I'd mention it here. If you like the channel as well, leave a little subscription. Maybe that'll help boost the channel's score in YouTube's scoring system or whatever they do in the background. So yeah, share the video as well to other people. And I will see you all in the next one. And until next time, stay joyous, stay cheerful, stay full of Kevin e. Bacon. And I will see you all in the next reaction. Until then... Fa-la-la-la-la, -la -la -la, and peace.